Hello, we've got another insect video for you today. Uh, this one over here is a cicada, I believe. I picked this up uh, on holiday when I was uh, in Greece last year, uh, last summer. Um, first thing to say about this is really quite well preserved. I picked it up, put it in a little uh, pot when I was there and have just left it ever since and it's actually stayed together very well. Um, cicadas are uh, part of order Hemiptera, so they're true bugs. True bugs have uh, sucking mouth parts, so they'll pierce their mouth parts into a thing and then uh, drink the fluids inside. So that could be with sort of reduvids, which are assassin bugs. They will uh, attack other insects or aphids, uh, which are uh, herbivores. They will well, herbivores. Uh, they will uh, stab into leaf veins and drink the sap from there. Um, so you can see here, uh, as you've got. So this is the front end, uh, so you've got the eyes, uh, the claws there, for the claws, and then uh, these are sort of vestigial wing buds. So I imagine this would, would have been either a sub-adult or an adult after it molted, because the wings actually would sort of extend down to, there we go, sort of there, in a fully realised adult, enormous things. So... Uh, yeah, you can see where the wings have started to develop, but I wouldn't be surprised if they hadn't fully developed when this one molted. Um, compare this to the uh, Negomantis medio constrictor, which is up there. Uh, a couple of things you can notice is, firstly, the split on the back is very, very well uh, obvious, and you can even see down in there where the six legs uh, protrude through the bottom of the exoskeleton, which is quite interesting in my opinion. Um, so this one is really quite well preserved. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but all along here, on the legs, along here, uh, you can even see where the hairs on the outside of the exoskeleton have been uh, preserved. Um, not exactly hairs, but you know what I mean. Um, another thing to note is this is an order of magnitude heavier than this. This is a little crispy thing. This is actually quite sort of weighty. Um, that will be just because uh, mantises are optimised for attack, speed, these things are much more defensive, uh, so they have a much harder, thicker s shell. Um, I found this one uh, sort of clinging to the wire part of a barbed wire fence. Um, I imagine this is because uh, these things, when they molt, when, well, when insects molt, they have to dry out, especially if they have wings to dry out. Um, so they climb up, grab onto a thing, and then it lets them hang down or nice and loose so they don't get any uh, malformations in the wings or any other part of the body. Um, similarly, when I was in the same holiday, same time, actually it's the same field, I found this thing. I believe this is the uh, sort of uh, wasp nest of these little critters. I found this all sort of uh, hole in the thing, and then when I put this away in the little pot over there, and then when I came back to this sort of six months later, this little guy was in there. Um, probably died of desiccation, honestly. Um, but you can see very well the little hexagonal uh, pits in the in the nest. Um, I'm pretty sure this is uh, Vespidae, so that's wasps. Uh, that's a part of Order Hymenoptera, uh, as opposed to uh, ants, bees, and I believe termites, but I could be wrong there. Um, I think they just go uh, paper wasps or Polystinae, which are very, very, very widespread all across the world. Uh, North America, Africa, Europe, uh, Asia, possibly South America as well. Um, very, very successful. They are parasitoids, uh, which means that these guys uh, are... Uh, they have an ovipositor on them, uh, which is an egg injector. So they will stab into one of these things, uh, inject the eggs. The eggs will eat themselves uh, out of the creature, killing it. It's the difference between a parasite and a parasitoid. A parasite uh, will uh, scavenge food, blood, um, uh, just energy in general. Parasitoids will actually kill the host in the in the meantime. Um, so that thing, that little tiny thing there, will actually end up probably killing that, um, which is 40, 50, 60 times bigger. Mantises, however, probably when that becomes an adult, will be about that long from that end so down to about there. Uh, that'll probably take on either of those because mantises, as I said, are uh, optimised for speed and killing very quickly. So, um, yeah, that's all the sort of dry stuff I've got for you now. Um, 
Uh, gonna have a bit of a sort of gloopier dissection later because one of my uh, pet mantises uh, died. Uh, so I'm dissecting that later. That is uh, Paris Vendali agrianina, uh, budwing mantis. So yeah, tune in for that. Um, I th this is about all I had to say about these. If you have any other questions uh, about anything here, just yeah, give us a yell, give us a comment. Um, uh, yeah.